I feel like over the past few months, I, I've been predominantly warning and, and talking about you know certain large indices and stocks going vertical, and and I and I just want to reiterate the, the sort of the reason why it's happening, and, and quite frankly, really the danger of it all. Um, so, uh, but I also want to be clear that people don't think I'm here to bad mouth or you know or 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 sort of. Um, uh, you know, say certain companies aren't good, like an Apple and a Tesla. This has nothing to do with that. Um, the very basic uh, sort of point we're trying to make here is, is essentially what happened since the Fed started adding a lot of liquidity in the repo market um, and, and, and elsewhere as of uh, mid-October 2019, um, a lot of things like the Apples of the world, which are a huge part. I mean, Apple and a couple other stocks are like 17 plus or so percent of the S&P 500. And, and so the, the point here is not to scare or fear monger or, or you know, whatever. It's to, to be realistic about what happens when things go parabolic. And I'll show you the charts again. I, I, I displayed them in a different way today so you guys can see it even better. But what happens is, you know, there's sort of um, Newton's law, you know, so, you know, the law of gravity. So anything, you know, at some point it goes up and loses momentum like this T thing and it goes down, right? It doesn't mean that Apple has to go to zero. That's not the point. But the steeper something goes up, the more it's going to, the sharper it's going to mean revert. So at the very least, I want to just make sure people understand the risk of what's happening here. And it's and because Apple's and other large, huge companies are involved, this is not going to be isolated to just a couple of stocks. It is the whole market, particularly the NASDAQ 100 and even the S&P 500 that's really at risk of, of short-term mean reversion in a very meaningful way and that ultimately can snowball into larger mean reversion moves through the lens of the next few you know months and quarters even right so i just that's all i'm trying to say you know by the way also just so you know fundamental economic news hasn't data hasn't really gotten any better uh so that's that's a whole, that's a whole other discussion but to kind of just get right to the point um here here's here's again and it's nothing new i've been showing this now but it's a different chart and, and it were it, it displayed in a different way. I just thought this might be helpful for you guys. If, if you enjoy this, you know, by all means, let us know down below. Um, but, but these are, as you can see, it's a multi-year chart and down here and, and, and you can see, so basically what, what, what the symbols in here are, just so you know, it's Apple, Tesla, NASDAQ 100 and Microsoft. And <laughs> you can see how the move over time has been orderly, but this is now very, very, very sharp. And you know, not only are we overshooting, it's, I mean, from every possible technical level, and it's crazy, but also what's important is note the correlation, right? No, no over the, there's been positive correlation more or less all along, but now the correlation, see how they're all together, is like crazy. It's like one, you know? And so if these important parts of the market, the Apples, Teslas, NASDAQ 100s, Microsofts, they're all one and the same, it's all the same chart, and I just want you to be aware of the risk because when, when, when an Apple at this point or a Tesla corrects, they don't correct one or 2% once it gets going. They're going to correct 5, 10, 15, 20% depending on the stock very quickly. And, um, you know, who knows what the trigger for all this is? Uh, maybe, maybe the trigger is, uh, is earnings. Maybe it's just, uh, maybe it's the signing of the U.S.-China trade deal that, that sort of gets people then, you know, to say, okay, this is done for now, so kind of sell the news. I, I don't know. I really don't know. I, so I don't want to pretend like I know. I also, again, I'm, don't, I'm not here to spread hate. I'm just trying to explain what the risks are. Because if there's one thing I've learned of 21 years as a trader and investor is that what if something goes up very steeply, and then this is, these are extreme moves, they are going to mean revert very sharply. You can even just look at stocks like AMD or Roku last year. They all do the same thing. And it doesn't matter whether it's a bond or a stock or a currency or a commodity. It's always the same thing. These are extreme moves. So at the very least, um, I would be very careful. That's all I'm trying to say. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, leave them down below. I'm trying to really go on the record as much as I can. That's why I keep saying the same thing that this is risky. It's not for me to fear monger. It's for me to at least, you know, raise a red flag that people know and are aware of the risks. And again, I'll quickly just flip to this one more time. So, so to leave you with this chart as a visual, you can recreate this chart as well, probably yourself. Um, I'm going to make, uh, make it available also on the blog and things like that. So you can download it if you need to. 
Um, anyway, for what it's worth, that's what this is. I hope it uh, makes sense. Again, uh, leave a comment down below. Give it a thumbs up, like if you enjoyed. Spread the word of what we do here. And uh, subscribe to the channel and all that kind of stuff. And uh, we'll talk to you guys soon.